So my dudes, Valkyr, and today I'm going to be talking to you about what I think is going to be probably one of the best free-to-play teams you can possibly get that's coming soon with Arataki Ito and Gar being added to the game. Now, exactly, Valk, what do you mean? Well, I mean, there is a couple variations to do with this team, but it's basically almost a full Geo team or a full Geo team, depending on how you do it. Uh, the key main players you're going to have are Ito himself, Garo, which Garo is going to be the Traveler in this case, the Travatar, just imagine it's Garo. Uh, and then you're going to have Zhongli and potentially Noel in that too, and Albedo. All five of them are really, really, really powerful options to consider. Uh, Noel can also pick up as a DPS slash healer for the downtime of our Takeda whenever he is down. And the reason I say this is going to be so free to play friendly is the weapons and the artifact. Well, the artifacts kind of whatever because you just farm up for defense. But the weapons themselves, Zhongli can run with a black tassel. Albedo is going to have Cinnabar Spindle, which is the new weapon, which is obtainable just due to the event, and it's literally his best in slot. And then for Ito and Noel, is White Blind. White Blind is a super cracked weapon for those two, and then Garo, it genuinely doesn't matter. I'm genuinely thinking of putting the Predator Bow on him just for memes, uh, but it really doesn't matter for Garo. For Garo, you can run whatever weapon you want on him, and he's going to do his job. So, it's going to be one of the most consistent, brain-dead, oonga free-to-play teams you can do. Now, another variation of the team that you'll see me do inside this video is Raiden Shogun herself. Uh, Raiden Shogun is going to be really good for energy recharge, but my Raiden Shogun is C6R5, and I'm sitting here advocating a free-to-play team, so I don't use her ult inside the video itself, because she'll one-shot everything, but inside Floor 12 Abyss, uh, she's going to be able to generate our inside Abyss period. I know this Floor 12 is kind of rough, but... She's going to be able to generate a lot of energy in the Abyss, and she's going to be able to help fund their ults, which they already have virtually no issue funding, uh, as long as there's like multiple enemies. If there's multiple enemies, you really have no issue funding it. With a 4GO team, you're going to be constantly generating uh, particles, which is super easy. So Ido's going to have virtually 100% uptime on his ult. It's just a matter of managing the downtime and all that. Not to mention the bull is going to resonate with Zhongli. Like, there's so much stuff going on. Zhongli with the Geo Shred down. Uh, you're going to have a bunch of defense to attack conversion between Noel and Ito. They're both going to be very powerful. You just have to slam this domain away until they come. Uh, but it's going to be very, very strong. And it's definitely something I want to bring to you guys' attention with Albedo running out and Arataki Ito coming. Arataki Ito, like I said, it brings Garo too, and Garo is going to be a fantastic Geo buffer. So for the free-to-play who don't want to think, who don't care about meta, but just want to get have a strong team that they can turn their brain off and go smash Abyss, smash any content in the game, I don't know how well Ito's going to do in the Abyss until I test him. I'm going to only get him C0, and I'm going to use White Blind on him for testing. I'm also getting Redhorn, so I can see what he can do with an R1 copy of his weapon. But, I'm only going to use White Blind on him to test, and we're going to go from there. But, we're just going, but I fully believe that he's going to do fairly well inside the Abyss. I think he's going to be a lot better than what a lot of people think. It's just Geo as a whole, as an element isn't the strongest because it doesn't have access to strong reactions, crystallizes a whatever reaction, but Geo Resonance is really good. Uh, the Geo characters themselves always have really high multipliers and they always hit like absolute trucks. So yeah, that's basically the video. I just wanted to plead my case for everybody to go ahead and get excited for what I think is going to be a very, very strong free-to-play team. Our Taki Ito is going to be a phenomenal DPS of C0. Uh, I can't wait for him to come out. I can't wait to showcase it all to you guys. But anyways, thank you guys for watching as always. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are going to run this team. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.